you're about to embark upon the great crusade toward which we have striven these many months. The eyes of the world are upon you. The hopes and prayers of liberty-loving people everywhere march with you. In company with our brave allies and brothers-in-arms on other fronts, you will bring about the destruction of the German war machine, the elimination of Nazi tyranny over the oppressed peoples of Europe, and security for ourselves in a free world. Your task will not be an easy one. Your enemy is well-trained, well-equipped, and battle-hardened. He will fight savagely. I have full confidence in your courage, devotion to duty, and skill in battle. We will accept nothing less than full victory. Good luck. And lest us all beseech the blessings of Almighty God upon this great and noble undertaking. Hello everybody, and welcome to Medal of Honor Frontline. I used to play this game all the time back on the PlayStation 2, and I've been moved to replay it again. To me, this is probably my favorite shooter ever made, next to Black Ops 1, the original Black Ops on PS3. As you can hear, the soundtrack in this game is... Oh! No, 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 no more, no more, quiet. The soundtrack in this game is really great. Just one second, I wanna check before we start the controller settings. So, because this is a very old shooter, um, let's change a few things. Fire, all right, fire, reload, I like, uh, let's do custom. You know, I don't feel like doing custom, I'll just, Oh, go back, thank you. We'll just do a... I'd rather have look and turn on the same button. So I'm gonna do that one. All right, so melee, look, reload, next weapon, jump, strafe. But yeah, this is probably my favorite shooter, on uh, at least the PS2 era. PS3 is, of course, Black Ops 1 and, uh, Oh, the soundtrack this game is actually really good, as shocking as that is. You can already hear it, probably. I'm trying to be careful with the sound of the game, because it's quite loud. I will keep checking every now and then, make sure everything's good, but, uh... Let's stop talking and actually get into it. Let's start. Our first mission is, uh, D-Day. Your finest hour. We're gonna play. I think we're just gonna play on normal. Yeah, I'm gonna play on normal. It's been a while since I played this. Maybe one day I'll go back and do hard, but for now, let's do normal. And when he gets to heaven, to St. Peter, he will tell. One more soldier reporting in. I've served my time in hell. June 6, 1994. 
The ramp drops. Move out. If you get lost, look for me. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Meet Captain on shore. Second, I'll figure this out. Nope. Nope, nope. Oh well. Get over here! Hey! Give me some cover and I'll get the hell out of here! I'm giving you cover, don't worry, man. It's just taking me a while to get used to controls again. Get over here! What? Oh, what was that? Not there. Get over here! I picked out my bar from that bunker! She can give me some cover fire to the bunker window! I can make a run for the shingle! Ready when you are! Go, 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 go! to die. Bunker, unless we lose the two machine gun nests guarding it. 
Patterson, if you can make it across that minefield to the turret, you can use it against those nests up there. We'll cover you. Covering fire! Now, Patterson! Go now! I'm going, sir. I am going. Yes, sir. The fight continues. Whew. Yeah, this guy gets hard. This game gets hard. But also, the controls are a little dated. I would love an HD remake of it. Ooh, yes, yeah, save it, please. Memory card slot one. We'll just call it. Yeah. I'm joking. Patterson, over here! Get over here! Next mission. Into the breach. Now this one, we're going to try and take out those giant towers you saw. Patterson, listen up! We need to find a way to signal our cruisers to start lobbing shells! Get to the top of this bunker, and I'll take the other one! Move out! Wait! Trolls again. Oh, that is sad. Look at that. He's either one using his buggy as. Uh oh. Desperate enough, he's using his buddy as cover, who I killed. to this. <laughs> That's the reload button. Okay, you just can't reload an M1 Grand because it is. I 
could have shot the barrel, but eh. This is war. Take, take. Thank you. All right, we're head up in the lines, Den. Give me a second. Nope. Yep. Sir, but I will not have you jumping down to save your comrade. I think you catch him off guard, he was sitting there. We're not going up there, they sealed the passage. Thomas, I mean. Basically, if you're wondering why it take, it's taking me a while to get used to these controls, right joystick turns the camera up and down, left, right, and all that, but the left stick only moves, so you really gotta just combine both of them. It's a bit weird. Shot your ankle, Achilles. There are weirder loadouts for the game. Oh, hello, that hurt. <laughs> Give me a second. Let me actually go. Come on. I see your hand. Gotcha. Peering behind the box. There we go. That took longer to kill. I'll take that. Once again, up into the lion's den. Let me just make sure I got everything here. Okay, there's a lot of healing. That's wonderful. Yeah, I'm almost done with Colt 45. Damn. Uh, I mean, I guess I could taunt him, but I want to be careful with that one, too.
I cleared one gun tower, now I gotta clear the other. sir mission accomplished oh man the way this game starts is amazing and there's actually a lot of good missions in this game not gonna lie of course oh. june 6 1944 175,000 allied soldiers breached the walls of fortress europe through intense german resistance by late june sherberg had fallen giving the allies the port they so desperately needed by early August, Eisenhower had amassed an Allied army of over one million strong. Treacherous field-to-field -field hedgerow fighting unleashed a breakout across France. With the Germans in full retreat, the Allies marched into Paris. Field Marshal Montgomery moved north into Belgium, while General Patton and the Third Army pushed to the Siegfried Line. It was here that the Allies encountered their newest enemy, the lack of sufficient supplies. Patton's plan was to run straight through the teeth of the Siegfried Line directly to Berlin. Monty had devised a daring airborne operation that had the potential of ending the war by Christmas. Having only enough supplies to support one advance, the fate of thousands rested in the hands of the few. With Allied superiority on land, sea and air, what could go wrong? You just had it. Oh, August 16th, 1944. I got a gold star. Took me about nine minutes to do that level. My accuracy is 18% because I'm getting used to it. Number of shots fired, 248. Number of hits, 46. <laughs> the Colt 45, shocking, was my preferred weapon. Number of hits taken, 33. Number of enemies killed, 43. I land 10 headshots, 23 torsal shots, 4 groin, uh, 2 left, 2 right, and 1 right leg. The next mission, a storm in the port. Oh, this one's really good. Good morning, Lieutenant Patterson. It's a pleasure to see you again. You're looking well rested. Good. I'll need you in tip top shape for your new assignment. You've proven to be quite resourceful, especially your performance most recently in scuttling U 4901. All things considered, you're the ideal candidate for this mission. So let's get down to brass tacks, shall we? The success of the Allied invasion of Normandy prompted an assassination attempt on the Fuhrer. A cadre of high-ranking Nazi leaders planted a bomb during a meeting. Unfortunately, he survived. He's used this attempt on his life to clean house and solidify his power. Whatever remaining sanity the Nazi leadership possessed has been gutted by Hitler's subsequent arrests and executions. He's appointed new leaders more in tune with his insane ideals. That man is bent on sacrificing every last German citizen rather than accept defeat. We need to stop him cold and do it now. Reports from our allies in France suggest that there's been heavy activity in the port of Lorient, a manufacturing facility for their deadly U-boats. It was previously run by one of the would-be assassins. Now Hitler has one of his most trusted advisors in charge. Jimmy, we need to know what's going on at that base. 
we've arranged for you to be dropped on the outskirts of St. Mathieu, where our 101st Division is still encountering some resistance. Intelligence states that a German U-boat is making an unscheduled resupply stop at the seaport there. Our only opportunity to infiltrate this fortified shipyard is by smuggling you aboard this vessel and waiting until it reaches its port. I know it's tight quarters, Jimmy, but for you, familiar territory. We're sending you back to sea, my boy. The Wadeside Towway. Seaside's Towway, St. Mark, Matthew, France. 17th of August, 1944, 0900 hours. French resistance operatives have spotted a U-boat in the port of St. Ma Matthew. After resupplying, we believe the submarine will head back to head back to the docking pens in Laurent, the most protected German U-boat base in France. To gain access to boat uh, at Laurent, you need the stowaway within the cargo bay loaded within the U-boat. You'll be dropped just outside the, the outside of St. Matthew, beneath a tree near the insertion point. Our operative has hidden a small package with which will provide you with further instructions once you're aboard uh, U-4902. Unfortunately, many of the roads in the village have been blocked or destroyed, so getting across town to the cargo loading gate may not be a simple task. Although St. Matthew has undergone heavy Allied bombing, the enemy is still entrenched. German forces have managed to pin down some of our troops from the 101 101st Division scattered throughout the area. Watch for ambushes and the enemy's machine guns nests. If the opportunity presents itself, Jimmy, do the high ground and provide some much needed assistance. Best of luck, Lieutenant. Seed side stowaway. I remember loving this mission as a kid. All right, let's do this. Okay, you can't break those. This is... Oh, Usually someone's supposed to be invading you by now. It's a bit long, but then again, I usually make it long on myself. Mm -hmm. Oh, the music is so good. All right, we got grenades.
Come me, gentlemen. Lead away. Thanks, blow up, let's go. Sorry about that, I got a phone call. Open fire! I'm an ally, don't shoot me. M1 Grand. Never go wrong with the M1 Grand. Give me a second. I have. Oh, wait, is he still alive? Oh my, I'm about to start shooting you guys twice. Hmm. Stop it, you fools. You're gonna die. You're going in there? Oh, I guess I'm taking the ammo.
Come on. Come on. Thank you. Alright, there's a health over there. A broken tank over there. That's a beast, comrade. Gentlemen, I shall leave you. I'm gonna find which pathway I go down. You hold the street. Ah. Are you dead, dead? Yeah, okay. All right, I gotta go. Then I should have enough time to even the, to do the uh, next mission, which is nice. But technically, there's two ways in, but now it's time. The fight continues. Oh, got gold. There is a platinum, but your yeah, accuracy has to be amazing and not take much damage. All right. I think I'm coming down to sick. Oh, this is one of the best just title screen songs. All right. Ah, special cargo. Bonjour, Monsieur Patterson. Oh, wait, let's see. Special cargo aboard U4902 near Laurent, France, 18 August 1944 of 0400 hours. Bonjour, Monsieur Patterson. My name is Fabrice Fabris. And I am one of many proud French citizens fighting against the occupation over four years now. I believe you know my trusted friend, Manon. Her brother and I were great allies before he was killed two years ago in the Academy of Music ambush. When Colonel Hargrove informed me he'd be sending one of his agents for this mission, I was pleased to hear your name. I hope you didn't find that you didn't have trouble finding your way through the village, or what's left of it. If you're reading this note, then the resistance drop I left you was intact. 
I have new information for you. Since U4902 reached St. Matthew, we learned that the Kriegsmarine have planned for the shore leave of Laron. It is not a long journey, so sit tight until the U-boat begins docking at the port. I hate to say this, but there won't be enough room inside the crate to fit your rifle. And I suggest you leave your grenades behind too. You won't want one of those going off in a pressurized used boat. True. However, you'll be glad to hear that in addition to the standard provisions brought on board, such as food and medical supplies, they're also carrying munitions and explosives. The Scully U-boat plant a few time charges in her torpedo rooms to set, the, to, set to explode after you escape. Then disable her engine, destroy the radio to keep anyone from alerting the docks. If you're really lucky, Jimmy, you may even come across an additional weapon and the prize enigma book. We can review any further instructions once you have reached the shipyard. Evonte Sante Monomi. Special cargo. Hate to say my French isn't the best, but yeah. Mann, ist die Kiste schwer. Was hat ein Schaf da drinne? Das Zeug ist schwer wie Blei. Oh, excuse me, gents. I'm gonna have a sip of my coffee while watching you work. So I'll be using my Colt for most of this mission. Oh, hey, fun fact, if I remember correctly, you can shoot bananas. I remember correctly. I am happy I remember. You shoot those bananas. Okay. Let's begin our mission. Was rieche ich denn hier? Das war Günther. Yeah, I whiffed the first shot, but at least I got the second one. Yeah, these are doors. I know, PS2 era, hard to tell, but those are doors.
Alright, the engines are down. Okay, it's this explosive I don't have to worry about going off. Also, look at the, the explosive stays stationary while the bomb moves. Ah, the good old days. Got a little lag in there. Ooh. Yep, engine failure. Let's go solve it, guys. Hello, Mr. This gun's pretty good. I like it. Alright, once again. Did you not hear the gunfire going in the next room? I'll never know. Okay, I don't think this one you can blow up. Oh, gotta be careful. Hey, good thing I'm not playing on hard. Actually, when I was younger, attempted to play on hard. You'd be shocked how hard that is. Oh, that was beautiful. That's what I want. Oh, yeah, give me the good stuff. Alright, now you plan it. There it is. The Enigma book is mine. The fight continues. Which now I think we're at the harbor docks, which this one is, if I remember correctly, it's been a while. It is a harder level. Ooh, man, I actually did that one a lot faster when I was younger. And my accuracy is increasing. It all doesn't help. I'm using a kind of assault rifle type thing, and, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, all right, let's do the next mission. Actually, you know what? I think I'll end it there. Uh, 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 I'm stretching. It feels great. Oh, my. oh yeah, this game's fun. Just I have to get used to the controls. That's my only gripe so far. But other than that, I'm enjoying it again. Been wanting to play it, and now I am. It's not that long of a game. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I will. Stop it. No, no, no. Man, I hope you guys are enjoying this. I am. And um, I'll see you next time. And goodbye.